Don't think you'd have to be a genius to know that the last thing the Horn of Africa needs is more foreign military bases, more weapons and more European meddling. What we call our strategic relationship isn't about human flourishing, it's about the EU's ambitions as a superpower. There's now a new great game in the Horn of Africa. Greater and lesser powers are pockmarking the place with military bases. France, the US, China, Germany, Japan, Italy, Saudi Arabia all have a presence in the tiny area of Djibouti alone. Mercenaries are swarming in from all quarters. The entire region is being militarized war is in the air hello everybody welcome once again to afripost i believe if you're watching us from you're doing great now the european union is known for its draconian manner in which it is handling africa you know that countries like france have really dominated most african countries especially in the sahel region and that is why you realize that most countries in that region have decided to have coups that topple leaders who are found to be very much pro-French government. You understand that the way through which French gave Western African countries their independence is that they did not totally leave. They remained in those countries and they continue to really run important programs. In fact, even the currencies used in those countries are printed from France. So this is something that has really made most Africans view these European countries as bullies in one way or the other. Now, in the midst of all this desire to control Africa and to really exploit it of its resources and continue to impoverish it, very few politicians in the European Union have come out to really support Africa. In today's video, I want us to look at one woman that is really strong in her desire to have a free world where no continent or no country is under control of another person because of their position of power or even economic dominance. This is Claire Daly, the Irish politician who is also the European member of parliament. She is always very straight when it comes to engaging on international issues affecting relationship between European Union and other countries or even other continents. I want us to watch these videos and then let's react to it after listening to them. Kindly watch. The Western media shows two warlords, two rival military factions, ordinary people frightened and fleeing, but nothing explained. No context, no responsibility. The European elites throw up their hands and wonder how shall we swoop in and save the Africans from themselves. But there's no mention of European funding, external border policies, the financing of state forces to round up desperate people migrating north to stop them reaching Europe. We've removed our fingerprints from this disaster and we pretend it comes from nowhere. I agree that we need peace, but how? As usual, this isn't about what we must do, but what we've got to stop doing. Sudan needs civilian government. Sudan needs economic justice. It needs an end to militarized extractivism in rural communities driven by the circuits of Western capital. That's the cause of the decades of instability and suffering in Sudan. If we stop paying the warlords wages, maybe then the people of Sudan would have a chance at civilian government. I don't think you'd have to be a genius to know that the last thing the Horn of Africa needs is more foreign military bases, more weapons and more European meddling. What we call our strategic relationship isn't about human flourishing, it's about the EU's ambitions as a superpower. There's now a new great game in the Horn of Africa. Greater and lesser powers are pockmarking the place <coughs> with military bases. France, the US, China, Germany, Japan, Italy, Saudi Arabia, all have a presence in the tiny area of Djibouti alone. Mercenaries are swarming in from all quarters. The entire region is being militarized. War is in the air. And what about the people facing climate and food insecurity? None of this benefits them. We talk about instability, but we only make it worse. We flood the place with weapons, hand over the profits to European arms companies and charge the bill to our citizens. And then with the carnage, we go back in and we do it all again. It's a racket. Strategic relationship, it's one thing after another, isn't it? Really, it's the same as it ever was. And all I can say is God save Africa from Europeans offering help. The state sponsor of terrorism is a term of US law. It doesn't exist in EU <coughs> law. But a Zelensky advisor called for it in the Parliament magazine, and here we are again reporting for duty. 
and all it will do is make peace harder to achieve. Exactly, of course, what the extremists want. No peace, no off-ramps, all bridges burning, and Ukraine a permanent abattoir in a suicidal holy crusade against Russia. So, if you want to start naming state sponsors of terrorism, let's do it. European sponsorship of Israeli terrorism in Palestine. Western sponsorship of Saudi terror in Yemen. ISIS, the product of French, American, British, Turkish and Gulf sponsorship in Syria and Iraq. Decades of right-wing US-backed terrorism against the Cuban revolution. The Contras in Nicaragua, death squads in Guatemala, in El Salvador. Remember Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, horror <coughs> after horror terror after terror. There's nothing constructive about the pot calling the kettle black. Would you ever cop on, start championing peace and end the war which is patently in the interests of EU, Ukrainian and Russian citizens? Now, if you listen to Claire Daly keenly, you would think that she's an African because what she's really pushing there is facing the superpowers head on and telling them of the atrocities they're committing in poor countries like those in Africa. You know, mostly in Africa, these Western countries have exploited us in a larger extent. And that is why even in some aspects, you realize that when China or even Russia is planning to engage with Africans directly, the countries are always threatened. The European Union are always very strong to come and castigate Africa when engaging other partners like China and Russia. And this is something that as Africans we must really come out and fight and really talk against it. We know the stake that the United States has in Africa. We know the stake that the European Union has in Africa. But we cannot really put or bury our heads in the sand and not embrace other partners to trade as equal partners. Remember, when United States or even European Union countries come to Africa, they come to lecture us about how we should really organize ourselves, how we should manage our affairs, how we should do our elections, who should be the leader. In fact, it is very, very sad that Western countries can come to Africa and really push and advocate for somebody. Remember, these are leaders that they use to be puppets, people whom they use to have access to our precious natural resources. Africa is really blessed in many aspects. And we cannot really leave ourselves at the hands of terrorists who are the Western countries who do not want to have a situation whereby Africa can really be self-sufficient and provide for itself in terms of food and even self-development. So Claire Daly in that engagement really motivates me into believing that surely there is somebody out there who can really speak truth to power and face these Western nations and tell them to directly to their heads. Remember Claire Daly is also known for the direct way in which she has handled the question of atrocities that Israel is committing in Gaza. Right now, people are being butchered here and there. Children are being used and are being killed. While Israel is claiming that the Hamas group is using human beings and refugees as human shield. But if you do your research, you realize that that is not the case. Israel is just determined to have a situation whereby they can annihilate all Palestinians and remain with that land and remain that the Palestine that was originally Palestine is now Israel. So... I really support what Claire Daly is doing. And another woman who is always very, very vocal on ensuring that Africa gains its, its glory is Meloni, Giorgia Meloni, the Prime Minister of Italy. She has been very vocal talking about how France is exploiting Africa, how France is leading and aiding into the problem of illegal immigration that most people from West Africa are going to Italy, are going to European countries just because their countries have been impoverished and have been exploited by Western powers. I don't know what you think about this, but for me, I believe that Claire Daly has really demonstrated that she is pro-equality and pro-humanity. Regardless of the race that somebody is coming from, she is always there to really speak truth to power and fight for our glory each and every day. Tell me your thoughts down in the comment section. And if you're watching us for the first time, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and also share. Thank you, and may the good Lord bless you. Goodbye.